It's Cinco de Mayo. Donde esta la biblioteca? I'd like a burrito. Before we begin tonight's celebration. May 5th. I need four chicken soft tacos. Spanish is worse than there is. Cinco de Mayo. You go to a festival. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco! Yeah, I need two enchiladas. Si, senor. Cinco de Mayo. Oh, that was one crazy party. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Hard to believe, but William Shatner has never been to space or in zero gravity. Yeah, the guy who played Star Trek's Captain Kirk for almost 30 years and has been a NASA booster for decades has kept his feet firmly planted on the ground. All that changes this August when Shatner boards the G-Force One, Zero G's gravity-defying plane, a Boeing 727, which makes a series of in-flight parabolic arcs to recreate if only for a few moments, weightlessness. Have fun, Tiberius. Jonathan Schwartz, who pleaded guilty to embezzling millions of dollars while working as the business manager for Alanis Morissette and others, was sentenced to six years in prison on Wednesday. In addition, Schwartz must pay $8.6 million in restitution. Schwartz confessed to stealing almost $5 million from Morissette in court in January. He pleaded guilty to wire fraud and filing a false tax return and asked for a sentence of one year and one day in jail. Another year of house arrest and an additional 2,000 hours of community service. The Kentucky Derby is tomorrow. Unfortunately, the experience of seeing it never quite lives up to the hype. Every year on this hollowed track of Churchill Downs, the thundering hooves of hopeful thoroughbreds break the crisp spring air. Each majestic stride, one step closer into the history books, chasing the legend of Secretariat. And it's over. Thanks for enjoying our 10 hours of pre-race coverage. <laughs> See you at the Preakness. Today is Cinco de Mayo, or as President Trump knows it, Friday. A new book claims Barack Obama proposed to another woman before Michelle. I won't say who, you'll just have to pick up your own copy of Why Michelle Hates Oprah. Professor Stephen Hawking is only giving humans another 100 years before we have to leave Earth. And when you get to the airport, pray your flight isn't overbooked. An Argentinian man spent tens of thousands of dollars on plastic surgery and skin bleaching to make himself look like an elf. Dude, just hollow out a tree and bake some cookies. A woman at a St. Louis Cardinals game was grazed by a stray bullet, which means, of course, that she was automatically awarded first base. Neurologists report having completed the first successful mapping of the bipolar brain. Some days they think the map is just wonderful, and some days they don't. Amazon is developing a series with Jeff Goldblum and Danny DeVito. The show will be called 1992. American Airlines is cutting leg room for people flying in coach because that should make crowded airplanes less of a powder keg. Time for Nobody Gives a F***. Kendall Jenner did a magazine photo shoot with Kermit the Frog in New York City. And to make sure everything went smoothly before it started, Kendall offered Miss Piggy a Pepsi. Hey, fame whore. And I don't mean Miss Piggy. Nobody gives a f***. Fox News host Tucker Carlson has signed a deal to write two books, which is great because if there's one person we definitely need to hear more from, it's Tucker Carlson. Hey, you racist, misogynistic homophobe, nobody gives a f And Colin Kropechnik donated 50 of his designer suits to ex-convicts. That takes a lot of heart. Keyword, heart, not throwing accuracy. Hey, designer suits, nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.